Hello and welcome. In this video, we will show you the basic configuration of our test procedures. After starting the IMC test bench software, the first panel will appear in full screen mode. This is the so-called main page. On the right-hand side, we have the predefined user roles, which can be changed clicking the login button. We can go to the four different levels we have from a standard user up to the admin user. We can add new user roles with the management button, or we can change access rights with the access right button. On the left-hand side, we have a couple of input possibilities for metadata, which is a kind of project ID, in that case, video production here, we can put in the DOT ID, which is a serial number or something different. And we can add also some comments to our test. In that case, just the test procedure configuration. If this is all prepared correct, we press the accept button and switch over to the second panel, which is the panel for the DOT limits. Here in this section, we have a couple of predefined parameters for the test motors, which is the definition if it is a DC motor or an EC motor. It's the DC voltage for DC motors or the EC voltage and current for EC motors, speed maximum, maximum torque, some temperatures, if this should be checked as well during the testing. This can be changed and a new set can be done, but we can select out of a list the prepared parameters for our test motor here in this case. And if this is a DC and as this is a BLDC motor, we have to import the configuration file for the controller as well, which is also prepared in a file. We go on open and now the Elmo configuration is selected and with pressing the accept button, we load the file and this preparation is done as well. Well, so next panel will be the test cases and here also all tests are prepared. In the test case panel, you can select out of a predefined test cases, whatever is configured for your test bench, like cocking torque or phase resistance. And as you see, the parameters which are predefined are changing with changing the test case. So in the manual control, which is the test we would like to use now for a manual operation mode, we have a predefined parameter set for our test motor here. And on the other side, we have some predefined settings for the voltage, the current, the electrical load, speed points and torque points, and some slope for speed as torque as well. So this is selected OK for us now. We click on Start. The panel is switching to a configuration panel. We see the safety circuit is closed. The Elmo was configured. And now we see the main panel. Live screen is starting for the manual control, which was the test I have selected. And here we can now switch on power, current, whatever we want. We switch it on and the power is going up and we can go up here in the power level, which you see on the lower screen here. We can rise the current or we can lower the current if we want. And as well, we can control the load machine. We can add torque and also the controller can be configured in that case. So this is the basis configuration of all of our test cases. It's more or less all the same. And we stop here. In our other videos, we will show you the test runs and evaluation of our test procedures. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.